All right. Um, okay, so let's start with the process in assembly language. Like um, so far, you have seen how to um, do normal, um, you know, um, assigning data and like um, using variables, using um, loops if else and all of those like conditionals but now what we will see is how to make um like how to work with process in assembly in general you already have most of the stuff you need to know about it but like now it will have a better like now you will have better understanding of it so um let's get started so the process the idea of process is basically um remember all the like if you can recall from the previous class all the stack stuff at the beginning of it like um push rbp and something those are all what like those are what you need for your um process call so um what push does is the push instruction decrements the stack pointer rsp by eight making room room on the stack copies the value of its operand to the top of the stack okay um, so you know that there are two like registers, right? RSP, RS, oh, RSP and RBP. Okay. So RSP is basically taking care of where it's like its last um, element in the pointer and RBP is, um, well, it takes, it points to the um, previous caller like um it's basically uh, points to the address of where it was being called from okay so um this is important like um pushing rbp in the stack is very important it will make sense soon enough so um this is what the current stack looks like and this is what isn't in the stack but like after you do a call the first thing is going to do is Put the value of rbp inside the stack okay and if you do pop rbp it just takes the value of rbp and does something basically the rbp is the address of where the code is supposed to go next go next time after the call of the function ends so basically whenever it reaches the part return in your c code like return zero or something like that what it does is it does pop rpp and by that it knows where to go back okay so um it was like this rbp's value was here and then it's going to pop the value and rsp is going to go back to where it was so this is the c code we're going to take a look at um for this lecture like uh it's going to like um, going step by step, it's going to show you how the whole procedure thing works. So it's a very um, simple C code. It just does like int x equal to 7, y equal to 12. It goes to um, a function called max where the parameters are x and y. It's x and y and it's going to return a value to red value and return. Um, the procedure or function itself is int max. It has two parameters int a and int b. It's going to have a local variable called int bigger and we're going to assign a to it. If a is greater than less than b, bigger is going to be b. Otherwise a is just going to be the bigger. Okay and then we are returning um, the function like returning the value bigger. So over here bigger is an integer right and the return type is integer. So these are some of the things you need to um, notice over here. So um, let's see how it looks like in the assembly. First things first, whenever you are calling a procedure or function in C, it would seem to involve like um, four steps. Step one is set up the parameters that will be passed into the called procedure. Okay. Step two is cause the execution to jump to the first instruction within the procedure. Step three is when the procedure is done, cause execution to jump back to next instruction in the caller. Step four is access the value returned by the call procedure, if any. Okay. 
so our caller has two variables x and y and is going to use them as parameter and our call function has two parameters like we are um, using here x and y they are going to be a and b in this case and it has one local variable which is going to be returned okay so the first step was to prepare the parameters right the caller's stack frame prior to the call will logically reflect the current state of the caller's execution so this is what the stack looked like before the function max was called it had um, pointed to the old frame of rbp okay so even the main is also called by something and usually that's the operating system itself so it knows where to go back right so it um, stores rbp then it um, has a location for x which is rbp minus 4 it has also memory location for y rbp minus 8 there's rbp minus 12 and stuff to store if anything else if there is any like for example it's going to store red well over here at one point okay so um remember whenever you are working with a local variable they are all stored in your um stack and that's why it's not safe to use a local variable and returns its address or something like that because whenever you go back from that function they are all going to disappear okay so and that's why they have the auto duration now it all everything is coming together right so yeah the first things first um this is what the stack looked like before the call okay we have the local variables in our stack we have the rsp which is pointing to the end of the frame then after we make the call um there are going to be some changes like the first thing is um, the first six parameters are passed in the registers parameters seven and up are passed on the stack while there while there's uh, while there are only two parameters in this example not the order of um, unneeded parameters of the stack okay so um, what happens is because the first six parameters are going to be stored in registers right the first one is going to be in rdi then rsi the next one if there were any would have been um, sent via rdx then rcx and the next two are going to be sent as r8 and r9 okay and if there are even more parameters they are going to be passed on as um, in the stack so this one is just like before after that there would have been passed fellow um, argument n okay like uh, it the argument n is basically like um, which like um, parameter you want to send for example it's going to be like um, 7 8 9 10 11 12 and it, it will keep going on so I don't think you have seen any function that has more than like what five parameters like but think about printf okay in printf you can actually put like 100 parameters and it's still going to work so the in case of 100 the first six is going to be over here and the next 94 of them are going to be in the stack okay so um this is what the assembly is going to look like so it's this is just a stack setup just like before okay you're um, making some space for the local variables to store in then you are putting uh, this was x and this was y so you are doing like x equal to 7 y equal to 12 and then um, move x 
move x into edx because um, we are going to make a procedure call so we have to put them as parameters okay and eax is equal to y or the opposite <laughs> sorry my bad then we are going to move them into esi and edi okay so um and you know that edi is basically um rdi with um padding and so on so um edi this whole thing is rdi okay so the, don't get confused of like whenever you see edi and it's being used as rdi they're the same and there's just like some padding because we don't need that much memory right now so yeah we are uh, moving y to um, esi and we are moving x to rdi so they are going to be our first and second parameter right then after we have set up the parameters we are going to do a call to max right when we do a call to max a few things are going to happen okay the call instruction has two effects push the address of the next instruction in the caller onto the stack okay so the current location not the current location the location next to it is going to be put in the stack put the address represented by the symbol max into the pc so um the max also has a address right the next thing we're going to do is put that in the stack as well okay so this is um what the stack looks like it was the previous version of it and then we are going to get some memory location for um the next uh, instruction and sorry um the next instruction where it's going to return to and we are also going to um, put the address represented by the symbol max into the pc okay sorry sorry sorry, 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 sorry my bad my bad my bad so um we are going to put the address of next instruction like um if it's like this we are doing a call to max right now imagine our next instruction is going to be like um return zero so the pc the program counter is going to point here when we return from the function okay so that address is going to be stored over here and then we are going to change pc from here to wherever max was implemented now it's going to point here instead of here that's what's going to happen whenever you do a call to max um, from next part onward this part are inside max itself no sorry it's not inside max this is its next line which is being stored here whatever happens is max is inside max okay so this is what the implementation of max looks like the first things first it's going to store the previous rbp which is the previous um stack pointer to your preview like caller okay then we have uh we are going to put rsp into rbp so um rbp is going to point to the next new part of the stack and then we are going to get some like um some memory and we are going to keep it for the local variables and all of those stuff this part should be familiar to you right now like by now because these are just simple assembly code to you know the implementation of max itself okay so um let's take a closer look of what's going to happen over here the first thing is we are going to put rbp inside the stack itself so this is our return address right so rbp is going to store um the previous pointer to rbp and then we are going to get some memory location for like local and then there's x there is y and all of those 
okay so um all the local variables are going to be stored inside your stack so another thing to notice over here is remember the parameters are sent using rdi and esi so we are going to take the value and put it in the stack because we use the stack a lot when we are running the code okay but if you optimize it it's not going to use the stack at all um, anyway yeah so um right after it gets inside the max it does this whole initialization thing i hope that makes sense so yeah like i said um right after putting everything there so eax is the parameter right sorry um is the first sorry my bad my bad my bad so this is our x this is our x we are putting the x over here and then we are putting that value inside bigger if we take a look at the implementation of the c code let's see what's happening the first line was we are getting the first parameter and putting it inside bigger right so that's basically what's happening here and then we are moving that value like um, value of x into eax we are going to compare we are going to um, do a jump if it's greater than otherwise um, we are going to take the value of y and put it inside eax and then we are going to take the value of eax and put it into bigger it's a um, straightforward implementation of the um, function bigger sorry the function max okay so um, we use this register eax as our return value whatever we put inside eax is going to be returned when the function returns so um, if you do return x that value of x is going to be put inside the register eax that's how it works basically when you call leave uh, it's going to reset the stack and go back to how it looked like when it was being called okay so um, the leave instruction resets the stack stack and frame pointers like uh, it resets the stack and the frame pointers prior to the returning like um, it's going to reset the whole thing like how it looked like before the function was called okay rbp must be reset rbp must be reset point to the beginning of the stack frame of the caller like rbp is going to back going to go back to how it looked like before rsp must be reset point to where the top of the stack was when the call instruction was made so everything you have done till now in the stack it's all going to go back to how it was and that's why all your local variables are lost whenever um, the function is returning okay so before the leave this is what the stack looked like so this was your older frame like this is the stack frame of your main it had a x y in its memory location and all of those memory locations if it needs them later on then it was um, rbp plus 8 so it holds on to the address of rbp like where it should go back after the function is done working okay rbp old frame ptr so um this is actually for pc it shows pc where to go back after the function is done rbp is the old rbp's pointer okay so um whenever you do leave it's going to pop rbp and rbp is going to go back to where it was before the call happened from rbp minus 4 we have the local variables we have x and y and all of those and rsp is pointing here because it's the end of the stack so after we called rb uh, like leave this is what's going to happen 
RBP is going to get this value and go back to where it belonged and then RSP is also going to go back to where it was like it's going to pop everything that was here and go back to the previous RSP okay this is what the instruction looks like move RBP to RSP so RSP now starts to go back and then pop RBP so RBP is basically go back over here it's kind of complicated um, or like not intuitive but like um, think about it for a moment and I hope it will make more sense okay and when we do return the PC is just going to go back to where it was pointing before the call to max okay so yeah this was the um, return address for the PC and afterwards is just going to go back there by popping it from the stack so here is the summary of what happened like through the whole instruction like um, I'm very sorry if I couldn't make sense out of it but um, it's actually hard to explain unless you um, experience it by yourself or like keep going through it again and again and again but I'm trying my best here okay if you have any questions you can always ask me so this is what your initial stack look like RBP is pointing to old frame PTR like where it's being called from where the main function is being called from RBP minus 4 is the first um, local variable RBP minus 8 is the second local variable and this space are um, kept for later use and this is RSP it's pointing to the end of the stack okay so we are going to do a call to max okay so after we do a call to max the first thing is going to happen is RSP is going to like in RSP we are going to store the return address um, like where the function like where the PC is going to go to next after it returns from max okay so it's basically storing a um, return point like okay after I'm done with the function this is where I'm going to go back that's literally the first thing it does okay afterwards it's going to store a pointer of the previous RBP so from old frame it's basically a older frame because we have a new function in town so yeah RBP stores the old frame pointer so that like it can go back over here RBP minus 4 is storing the first um, parameter RBP minus 20 and 24 are going to be the um, parameter sorry this is the local variable the parameters because the parameters are sent using RDI and REI right oh, sorry RDI and RSI or um, EDI or ESI and then we are going to store them in the stack um, because we use stack for most of the execution right so yeah um, right after the call happens this is what the stack looks like there's new function and all those new um, local variables and stuff after we hit the part leave what it's going to do is pop the whole thing like pop the whole thing and rbp is going to go back over here rsp is going to go back over here and then pc gets this value and knows where to go back okay so this is what the um, stack looks like after the leaf so yeah um okay so the slide is over the class is over and all of those but i just want to say how it happens once again by drawing because i love drawing so yeah this is what your stack looks like it holds on to the older rbp okay and what i'm going to do is i want to show you what happens if there's multiple call to functions okay so yeah it um this one is your rbp at the beginning rsp points here and all these stuffs are for the local variables 
and you do a call from here okay so the first thing is going to happen is over here we are going to store the older address where to go back to then we are going to store rbp this rbp over here and then our rbp is going to change itself rbp is going to start pointing here and rsp is going to point to the end of the stack and all the local variables in that new function are going to be stored here what happens if we call another one it's going to be stored here the same thing is going to happen rbp is now going to store this one and over here there's going to be another older address this basically points to the um, instruction location or like for pc to be point wherever like this one went to okay and then rsp is going to point here now and this is like all the new local variables are going to go here so this one keeps going on and on and on and well there's always limitation to memory right so whenever your stack keeps going and it doesn't have any more um any more space to allocate for the functions that's when the error stack overflow happens yes title call everyone so yeah this is where i'm going to end my lecture and i hope i'll see you in the next class bye bye